How's it going, everybody? Welcome back yet again into our single player world where we are doing some big work today on the village. You see, I've been having a bit of an issue recently, and that has been every single time the, t the day turns to night, there is a zombie horde. A horde of them just attacking not me. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. That's fine I can I can handle it. You know, I've got I've got a brand new by the way Look at that shiny new sharpness for fire aspect 2 sweeping edge 3 sword That's a pretty neat little enchantment. I got which we actually should go check out right now That's a really cool thing But what is not too cool is that my villagers which I as far as I'm aware we haven't actually lost one my good old friends they, they don't have these hoods, and they, they don't have the ability to, to help themselves out. And what I want to do today is I want to go ahead and definitely save this place. And, and we'll get to that very soon. But right now, I think what the best thing to do is, let's grab some of those. I've got an enchantment, and I've also got a diamond pickaxe, which I want to see. I, I If we've got, so I actually don't know what we've got on this, but I've got level 30 over here. You'll see level 30. And I want to just check what we can get from this enchant over here. If it's something solid, efficiency 4, yeah, that's alright. That actually could be pretty cool. I also just want to see if we get aqua affinity or respiration on that. No, we do not. Feather falling on that. No, we do not. Actually, that protection 4 is not too horrible. But what we do want to do is, I think, let's just go for it. Is that efficiency 4? I think that's a worthwhile enchantment. Because we've got the luck of getting either silk touch or fortune on that. Just being lucky. And also super fast mining. So... The moment of truth. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I guess I guess there was a letdown. Just efficiency four. That's not horrible. We can actually see what our next enchantment is. Efficiency three, fortune one. Yeah, nothing really too exciting there. We probably would want to check out these, see if we've got that respirate. Ooh, aqua affinity and respiration two on that one. Oh, this is a tough one to choose that or that. That is that is very difficult. If we got and feather falling three. I think we have to go the Feather Falling 3 direction, guys. That's, uh, that's right. That's not a big deal. We, we're not doing anything with that for a while, so we can leave that. What I do want to do today, though, as I say, is I want to go ahead and start finding a way of, of making ourselves a slightly more safe area for these places, these people. And there are a few options which we could... Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. There are a few options which we could do to, to fix this place up and make it all good for villagers. And, uh, and Jancy's like to, to be uh, living in a happy place. And really, one of them is, of course, we could we could employ the help of a uh, of an iron golem. Which I do have enough resources now to do, which would be rather cool. However, yeah, that, that, that's right. Let's just jump off the edge. However, the the thing with that is I don't actually know how well it'll go walking around these little these little grooves around the village. Because this this village, by the way, is, is going to be looking uh, very, very tight-knit. Uh, when when we're done with it, so I I don't quite know uh, whether or not that will be the case. And by the way, what we're doing here is I just want to go and add a little bit of texture and see what this place looks like with a little bit of a little bit of texture in here. And we don't have an axe. Okay, we'll we'll just do this by hand. Uh, so that that's what I'm thinking. Maybe we could go ahead and hire some help. But then I was thinking that that also doesn't work too well. Another op option is to to light up the area and leave a wall around the perimeter. Which is pretty cool, but a wall is pretty expensive for us right now. And I'm sure that could probably be, even if it's just like a, an artificial wall-like thing. For instance, a, a ditch that we could we could hold some stuff out with. Or maybe just a too high cliff to hold some zombies out. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but that, that that's a far way down the track. The only thing I can think of, and, and this is less of protecting them completely. And more of helping me help. It's kind of like this help me help you type situation where... Uh, this okay, let's just let's just suck it up. We're gonna do it. <laughs> oh, and also actually I, I just walked right past this. Here's another thing we did. A little bit of organization. My commitment to using all the wood. See that? Each of them have got their own run. And then of course stone, cobblestone, and just miscellaneous stuff over here. That's uh that's where we're at right now. And you know what? I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna go and splurge a little bit. We're gonna get ourselves a diamond axe because I've gone through so many axes. I think it's about time we, we, we get a diamond axe and we'll, we'll go ahead and enchant that at some stage. Uh, but yeah, what, what was I saying? Oh yes, the, oh, help me help you. That's what we want to do. We want to help me to help you. Being, uh, you. And, uh, you. And these guys around here, look at them. So, what I was thinking, and, and this is kind of going to be awesome because we, we haven't built anything. So, like solid yet and I would like to maybe do something kind of cool, but kind of easy at the same time I was standing here in the front thinking what could I do? and by the way look at that 
fantastic. Just adding in a little bit more stuff. I might just add a few things around there just to texture this up. Uh, but we've got this little light up the top here, which is actually the spot I go to to see throughout the village whether or not there are zombies. That seems like a cool spot to have a tower of some sort. Nothing too big, nothing too small, just a watchtower to be able to spot these zombies. Because what happens is when it is nighttime after I've done my mining session, I run up here, quickly sleep, and then I run back out this way to this area here just to see where there are zombies. I look around there, look around there. And having a proper tower to actually be functional for me would be great. And I think that's what we're going to be doing right now. So I'm going to go and get some materials. Get rid of that block, get some materials, and then I think we go ahead and get started on a good old tower, which also could probably be quite cool to, to light the way for travelers to this village as a beacon as well, and we'll get to that very, very soon. That looks like a pretty good spot to be starting off with. So let's get going with the actual building. Of course, this isn't going to be a crazy over-the-top build, but it's going to be something that's going to set the tone for the rest of this, at least this, uh, this area. And, and get ourselves some sort of a style. And, and I want to just quickly uh, speak to you guys about what we're going to be doing in this area. Because, of course, we want this to be a village. A village that actually functions as a village. And we don't want to necessarily have a lot of uh, a lot of holes in our story. We want this to be, as I say, we're looking after the village. We've got we've got ourselves these powers of, uh, of building and being able to fight off the zombies. I don't know, don't know what that means for us, but... In the end, we do have to look after the villagers, and I, I think it'll be rather cool to to keep the story going. And that we have to we have to live in this village. We have to look after this village. I mean, not for the whole series. What I'm just saying is, it's in this village in particular. We look after it. We we make sure it's uh, it's getting treated well. It'll treat us well, and uh, and it's like a win-win situation. Again, you know what I mean. So so that's what we we're going to be going for. And of course, getting a cool style on here. And I'm just going to try a roof on. I've got some idea of where I'm going with this. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, but, of course, here is the question, alright? So, regardless of what style we go for, first of all, tell me if you like it. I mean, it's kind of going to be different, if if I am correct. It's going to be sort of different, but it'll be it'll be interesting, nonetheless. And, uh, and there's always room for improvement. So, uh, let me know with that. But, with this village, of course, we've got a few houses which we're going to make into different things. If you guys have got some idea, of course, let me know in particular which one, but uh, if you've got some idea of what you want to see in this village, like, uh, I know I know, there's always going to be the, the default blacksmith and, and a bakery and all those sorts of things, but, but tell me what you guys are thinking. If you guys are thinking blacksmith, if you guys are thinking not blacksmith, if you guys are thinking something completely out of the, out of the blue, something completely different. I mean, I love those ideas. I love those ideas where they, you're like, how did someone think about that kind of idea? That's, that's what, I, what I'm looking for. So if you guys have got some crazy ideas, of course, um, actually, let's just try this out. Of course, let me know. I'm, I'm always down for down for a weird, wacky idea, and uh, and it, you never know. It might just work. The most important thing is that uh, we keep sort of to like a medieval fantasy theme, although medieval fantasy is not really what we're going for. But I mean, honestly, I <laughs> we'll, we'll find out today what we exactly we're going for. I think I think today's important for that reason that we will probably figure it out as we go through here. So let's just try this roof. This roof is going to be, I think. Setting sort of the tone, I guess. We'll do that there. We don't need this block inside there. Save a block, you see? Okay. Now, from here, let's make another crafting bench. Or crafting crafting table. I'm in this habit of always saying crafting bench. And I, I get the feeling it's from my, my days way back in way back in the modern Minecraft days when I used to play that a lot. <laughs> but uh, I just can't, I can't seem to shake that habit. So let's go there and we'll go there. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And we'll just do this with... I'm, I'm guessing probably too high here. So we'll go up there, and we should be able to jump on this because we're on the on the wall. Fantastic. And there we go. And I think this is going to look all right. Now, the, the problem is we really need that feather falling that we had. We can see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be that guy. Oh, all right, that was that was kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. I, I did. I, I don't have a lot of faith in myself. We're still on zero deaths. I I do not plan on changing that. And that is actually looking better than expected. I I quite like that. There's this little area here which maybe we'll be able to fix up. You see how that's that's got this little square bit. But really, that is cool. That looks 
honestly, I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed with this style. Uh, tell what you guys think of that, of course. Always down to down to change it up. Uh, but let's let's just go and check how it works. See whether or not we are able to secure this village and, and make sure our villagers are, are happy, living happy, prosperous lives and uh, ready to trade at, at any time. So we'll get rid of that one. That's not necessary. Looking good. Looking good. Yes. That is fantastic. That is that is wonderful. And, and not only this, we also thinking about the skyline of the city. Think about this. Well, city. I'm saying city. It's uh, it's an under <laughs> a very big over overstatement to call this a city. But the skyline of this, like that, we, we're going to have one of those. We're going to have houses in here. We'll probably end up changing this house over as well uh, to something a bit more suitable to what we're doing there. Of course, this is always down to be changed. But picture that. We can have some cool stuff going on in the background. I love it. I love that so much. Another thing, by the way, is is we're going to keep this this village very... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Basically, built on top of each other. Everything's going to be tight-knit. Close, close quarters. Close quarters, sorry, not corners. Close quarters. And I guess this is a block game, so corners as well. So what I'm thinking, here is what I was saying, is, is this should be a guiding light for travelers from afar. To, to come visit this village based around actually it's it, the reason I liked it by the way is because it's on this really cool hill uh, but a guiding light for villagers afar and I think that well but not village well I guess villagers could be the ones training traveling don't worry it's not important but people coming here travelers coming here will be able to see this guiding light and this over here doesn't quite have that guiding light so maybe I think it's about time we we start up the uh, the Jancy ship number two which uh, or boat number two which probably will will suffer the same fate as number one. Uh, so we went with the birch last time. Let's go with a bit of a bit of this sweet sweet oak over here. We got five of those. We're going to make a voyage across the ocean, and this is where we find it. The uh, by the way, what's up, guys? The the light that we need to guide us to this place. I'm going to try get in here as quick as possible and see if we can steal ourselves one of these. No, no, no! Don't don't please, guardians! Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. I'm just a uh, just a, a very fresh newbie Minecraft player. No, 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 please don't. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. And we've got one stuck in our boat. Okay, uh, this is not a good idea. <laughs> and we've got mining fatigue as well. Uh, okay, well, I guess, I guess we could do, here's, here's a strategy, all right? We could really just fight guardians. And, and we got a, oh, a dolphin there, that's awesome. I could go steal some of that dolphin's grace. We can fight guardians, and it seems like they're not actually shooting at me here. Uh, on land. That could be an interesting little fight there. So let's go here. And uh, I, I guess I could be a little bit sneaky and go F3 and B. That's a little trick. I know not everyone knows about that. But you can see where bounding boxes are. But uh, I, I feel like it's a little bit cheaty. Do I do it? I, I guess I could. Let's just test. Yeah, that, that... Oh, it even burns them. Okay, I'm going to stop that. Because I just wanted to make sure the boat's bounding box doesn't get in there. That's, that's kind of useful. Bam. And bam. Okay, so fantastic. <laughs> we need let's let's check through our recipe book here. Let's check what we actually need for a uh, prismarine lamp. Uh, apparently, a sea lantern. Sorry, it came up with the recipe over there. I swear it did, but apparently it's not on here. You know why? I know why. I know why. Let's let's do this. This is why. We need it in here. There we go. And. So we need four of these prismarine shards. We got one and five of these prismarine crystals. All right, challenge accepted. Okay. <laughs> in in just a moment, we will accept this challenge. Just go catch ourselves. Well, I, I guess this is the closest we're going to get to being like a trawler in Minecraft. All right. So it seems like the trawling for guardians was not the best uh, the best way. What turned out to be the best way was going in here. Let's just check how many we've done. Let's go mobs. Uh, I think this is my most fought, uh, fought thing. Where is it? Guardian 15. We had to get rid of 15 of them to be able to get ourselves the five that we needed for the prism of those prismarine crystals. It was quite an interesting little challenge. I'm not going to lie. Being still quite newbie in the game right now. Well, I can't see anything, but let's just get what we can get out of here and, uh, and get going. I just thought, I just thought, you know what? We're, we're on our way. I think I can actually get some air from this doorway, can I not? No, okay, well, we'll, we'll have to head up. I, I, I hear you, I feel you, I feel you, buddy. Yep, cool. <laughs> I thought we may as well go check out the coral reef, which is just to the northeast of, of, uh, 
where we were, really probably a little bit more east than anything for where we were specifically before, but uh, it's a... Uh, it's a, definitely a cool thing to go check out. We'll get rid of those, take them, and take some damage. Why don't we? Yep, we might actually... Ooh, this could be close. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. I think we'll we'll leave the, the rest of the treasure there for a later stage. <laughs> I'm not feeling quite as uh, quite as gutsy on this one here as... I mean, I've, I've just been fighting guardians, of course. There's there's some... There's something for your your hero of the village. I can take that back. The story of how I, how I rescued this stuff or... Or something, I don't know. Something like that. It'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Didn't really plan on making myself the hero of this, but may as well. It's our own story. We may as well make the tale. Man, can I just put this out there? These coral reefs, I thought at first, uh, my first ex experience with them was, I thought they were kind of all right. I didn't didn't really think much of them, but coming here in survival, actually, I, I do definitely... Oh, wait, I've, I keep eating these fish, and they actually roll. I, I think I've got a, another appreciation for it. They, they're actually very, very pretty. Just looking at that there. Oh, man. The ocean is, the ocean is just so much more interesting now. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Really, really cool. Of course, we will be doing stuff with this stuff eventually, but right now, I just want to go and explore it and experience it and just enjoy swimming through it. Look at that. Such cool stuff there. Let's just appreciate what we've done here today, guys. Look at that from a distance. How beautiful does that look out, look out there? <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. I'm actually very, very happy with the way this, this style looks. But of course, of course, leave it. Let me, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. Either way, successful trip, successful build. Now, is it successful just yet? I don't think so. I, I, I very much doubt that because... We have not replaced the light. In fact, uh, let's get rid of what's a bit of junk in there. Protection one. Nah, we don't need that. We don't need that. We'll be all right. You can just despawn. Actually, can I give that to a villager? I think you can. Uh, no, you know what I can do? They won't pick it up. But if I get a dispenser, yeah, I'll, I'll get a dispenser at some stage. And we can actually dispense these things onto villagers. It's a little neat little thing. I, I hope it's still available. But that used to be a thing. For sure. And we've got now 18 emeralds. That's a, that's a good amount of emeralds. What does this guy have? Frostwalker 2? That could be kind of cool for traveling the ocean, I guess. And that's iron hel helmets. Okay, not going to deal with that stuff yet. Uh, we just need to go and put that away. Make one of these guys over here. Like that. And let's also get some of these. So we're going to put this lamp up there. And I, I think it's a, it's a very special moment in this, in this uh, city's history. You know, getting, get, replacing what was once lost. Or, or at least, they don't know that I didn't get the real one back. So, it's, uh, it's, it's good enough for me. If it's good enough for me, it's good enough for them. So, let's go up here, and let's pop this guy in underneath here, in this conveniently, uh, left out spot right here. So, uh, that, we'll, we'll get that sorted out. So, I think around here, that seems alright for your head. You won't really bump your head on there. So you can walk in, look around. Perfect. And then we'll use this, which is still where oak trapdoors excel very well. Is is in this this little bit of light that they let through here. I guess we'll just put one of those on the bottom. But you know what I think could actually look quite cool is is the jungle trapdoors, which we haven't even we haven't even found a jungle yet. I know there is one not too far away. But we haven't even gone exploring it, it in it yet. Oh, look at that. That is wonderful. That is that is very, very cool. I'm very pleased. That is that is super cool. We've got one issue though, and that is that we don't have a way for myself or villagers to get up there to to go and look out. One thing, by the way, before I go any further, I realized that the cod that I thought was not cooked from fighting those guardians that they drop, they drop. Uh, I don't think they drop cooked. I think they drop raw fish, and I'm pretty sure because I've got this uh, this what is it? Fire aspect two sword. Narrator narrates all. Oh, buddy. We have missed you, narrator. Welcome back. Well, I'll tell you what, you go narrator back to what chat. you're doing, and uh, narrator yeah. off. Cool, perfect. See you later, narrator. Uh, <laughs> by the way, that's uh, Control B. I I always manage to bump that button. Kind of a weird thing. It does come with Minecraft, and if you've never done it, yeah, I, I guess it's just the way I the way I space bar. I keep hitting Control B, and I, I can't get out of that habit. I somehow always do it. Uh, but yeah, I was saying the the weird thing is that. Apparently, 
I could cook stuff underwater, which I, I always, I never, I mean, I don't think there's ever been the opportunity for me to try that out uh, before 1.13 has, has arrived, but I, I thought that was a kind of an interesting little thing. In fact, you know what we can do here? We're trying to make a, we're trying to make a cool little piece here. We could do that there. We can make this one down to a half slab. Nah, I kind I kind of liked it a little bit higher, to be honest. I'll be completely honest. I, I did like that a little bit higher. So we can, we can even do this here. I guess that still works. So we're just trying to get a, a rocky way for now. And then when we start getting more and more materials, we'll start improving the paths. And, and gradually, as we, as we get more and more wealthy in this world, which it's bound to happen, we can, we can make this place look real cool. So how's that going? Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Uh, another thing I was just trying to test out here was, was for future paths, because I want to use the path block. Doing stuff like that, it seems a bit, bit light, to be honest, but worth a try. Let's, let's pop it straight up. No, nah, definitely won't work. But maybe maybe to the side we can get it to work somehow. Okay, we've destroyed that block. There we go. So here's here's the simple. The the poor the poor and also rich and also wealthy Minecrafters way to getting builds to to look finished. Get yourself a bunch of leaves and you'll be good. That's that's like building pro tip number number two. Number one is is depth in your builds, number two is Get yourself some leaves, and and you've you've got yourself bushes, and you can make beautiful stuff. So let's get these, let's get those, and we've got 37. Fantastic! I actually really want to show you guys what I've been doing with with some of these leaves, because of course 1.13 has got some cool little texture features with with leaves and stuff, and I think they're rather neat. But the the real cool thing is not necessarily what they've added, but what what I've I think I I think uh, what I've managed to come up with with uh, a few of the leaves that. I always thought we're, we're missing in the game. And that is with Acacia and a Dark Oak. They both have their own blocks, but they've got textures that, well, generally, they've got textures that uh, are matched with the actual oak te texture. So there's three different blocks all holding the exact same texture. And, and I didn't really like that. So what I've done is I've gone ahead, I haven't done it to Dark Oak, but I've gone ahead and got a cool looking acacia leaf block, which matches very closely to the oak. So you could actually texture with them, but not very, very much that you, you won't be able to work with it, if that makes sense. Yeah, we're not going to put anything hanging off there. I think, I think this one, this building is sacred. We can't really hang leaves on it. It looks beautiful the way it is. I think we, we have to get rid of some of these leaves. So we'll go and remove these on the building. We'll keep the leaves on the way up to it right now. They, they're just kind of temporary leaves. We, we'll, we'll put some proper some proper stuff in eventually. So we'll do stuff like that. Take a little bit of damage, drop down a little bit more, and check how that's looking. Because leaves, leaves liven up your build so, so much. There, a little bit coming from there. A little bit of leaves coming from there. We'll I'll probably dangle them from the bottom of that mountain there. And or the cliff face, sorry, and, and we'll have ourselves a beautiful, beautiful looking thing. Today, guys, I think we will go ahead and call that an episode. A very successful one. Tell me what you guys think, of course. Always, always appreciate it. And by the way, before I go any further, uh, and before we, we call that an episode, as I say, uh, I just want to say thank you to all the crazy support you guys have been giving on this series. It's always something that means a lot to myself and uh, and it's great to see that you guys have got inspiration. You guys are starting your own worlds and, and enjoying what we get to do in this world here. So thank you very, very much for that. And thank you for all the positivity. Of course, very, very awesome in the comments as per usual. So thank you very much for joining me in this one today, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.